Hi everybody, today we're here with Jen from Good Steward Training Company and one of our amazing volunteers that donates her time in helping us with training and enrichment of our pups. Good afternoon, Jen. Hi everybody. Jen's here with Grant and yes, beautiful Grant who is, by the way, up for adoption. And we're gonna talk a little bit today about dog selectivity. So Jen, explain to us what dog selectivity really means. So dog selectivity is a term that we use when we talk about the spectrum of dog social skills. So there are dogs that are dog social, which is like that Disney dog that we grow up with, a dog that loves everyone and everything. There are dogs that are dog tolerant, which means they have pretty good communication skills and they get along with most dogs, but not everyone. There's dogs that are dog selective. Those are the dogs that are gonna be more neutral around other dogs, but they're gonna have a small select group of friends that they're particular about. And then there are dogs who are truly dog aggressive. And those dogs, of course, we're not gonna want them to interact with other dogs because it's not gonna be a pleasant or safe experience for them. So something that most people don't know is most adult dogs are actually dog tolerant or dog selective. Especially as dogs mature, even social puppies tend to move their way up that scale somewhere to the tolerant or selective range. So that's completely normal for most adults. So for a dog like Grant, who we would label as dog tolerant or dog selective more likely, that just means that you're going to want to be able to give them an environment where they have the opportunity to be away from other dogs. If you want them to interact with certain dogs, you're going to want to pick and choose their friends carefully and you're going to want to do a very gradual positive introduction to make sure that the two dogs get along and that everything goes safely. Something really important to remember is that just like we click with different people, dogs click with different dogs and we can't always choose their friends for them. So you need to love them as they are and accept that they might not wanna be friends with your neighbor's dog, your sister's dog, or the dogs at the dog park, which is not some place that I would take a dog selective dog. So dogs that are dog selective just means they're a little more discriminating with their friends, but they're great, they can make great family dogs, great activity dogs like Grant. Tell us a little bit about Grant's personality. Grant is one of my favorite house guests I've ever had. I did have him as a foster for a while. He is incredibly sweet and loving. He's very smart but he engages with a lot of toys like lick mats and enrichment puzzle items so it's pretty easy to meet his mental needs. He loves to tear around the backyard, roll in the dirt, and chase toys so he's really really fun to play with. And a bonus, even though Grant is what we would label dog selected, he's already pretty much reached that goal that I would have for selective dogs which is if I can walk you safely and in a positive way around a normal neighborhood stroll and pass other dogs without issue then that's all I need from you and Grant can do just that. 